What is up guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Hi, it's Keisha. Nice to meet you all. Getting here because we've got quite a bit to discuss. So I want to go ahead and talk about Kylie as I've been seeing this recent conversation surrounding the fact that she's brokery okery. Now, of course, not broke as in zero dollars to her name, but there's rich celebrities who are very smart with their money and there's celebrities who are just very dumb and come out with businesses that they have no business coming out with. Like, why is Kylie coming out with an alcohol business and a perfume? Anyways, we've got quite a bit to discuss in this video. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And yeah, so this video is going to be a little bit scripted just so that I stay on. If you guys watch me for a long time, then you guys know I can waffle. I can waffle like there's no tomorrow okay um but that also is like me and my style but i definitely do want to stick on to the topic of today which is kylie and she doesn't just the fact that she doesn't really make the best business moves you know i think that's definitely something worth discussing and i've been seeing this conversation over on youtube over on tiktok and i definitely do agree with a lot of people's takes i do think i have my own take on it as well and just so many things that i think people can probably learn from in terms of businesses and just i don't know i think some of it is rocket science though but um you know the, the kardashians don't beat the claims of being intelligent anyways um yeah let me not do too much now okay not too <laughs> also let's get into this cut i cut my hair i really don't like it and i feel like uh, do you know what this is not about me but like i'm sorry i, I cut my hair um that's all i'm gonna say maybe it's a grow and not a show <laughs> Alright, before I chat my shit, let me go ahead and at least have my lip gloss popping. Are you down? It's not the one I'm looking for, but it will do, I guess. Just like the guy you settled for. Kylie Kristen Jenner is an American socialite, first noticeably famous for appearing on Keeping Up The Kardashians, which premiered in October of 2007 on E. I remember, like, E used to be that channel. Like, we don't really be watching TV like that. And if we are, we don't watch TV like that, let's be honest. We're just glued to our laptops, we're glued to our phone screens. But there was a time where E was the network everybody wanted to be on and it was so huge at the time and i remember i, I never watched kimono kardashians when it first because i was seven babes i just no plus i had a better taste i was flipping watching spongebob spongebob squarepants probably playing with sandcastles well there's no sand here in london is there <sighs> basically i had a life um and yes yeah, so i wasn't watching it when it first came out but i think everybody was pretty much familiar with who the kardashians were i think a lot of people at this time weren't sure as to why they were famous i think some people knew about kim's scandal and her rise to fame shall we say um but a lot of people just thought they were just um like reality stars and that is what i think they were until they started to get into business and everything and as much as we can go ahead and diss the kardashians no this is not me being up their ass because quite frankly that's a lot that's a lot of ass <laughs> Does not me trying to kiss the ass cheeks that's what i'm trying to say it's just me saying that as much as we can go ahead and talk about this that and the other i do respect their business mindset when it's original ideas and not stealing from small businesses <music> reality show showcased a family specifically women who share their day-to-day -day, take on the hollywood lifestyle you know glamour glitz fame uh, people love seeing the dynamic between the kardashians and their half sisters which are the jenners so kendall and kylie the show grew more and more success and averaged between 1.3 to 3.5 million viewers her season it was time for kylie jenner to find a niche of her own i think that the sisters really did their own thing they started to come out with clothing collections they had their store the dash store and i think that they were just trying to go on to do other things rather than being known as reality stars now when you go on google and you google each of the sisters you will find that yes it does say that they are reality stars but there's a bit more to their name now you know there's, there's they've got businesses like courtney kardashian's got poosh I'm so sorry, but whenever I say the word poosh, I feel like it's a slur. Like, I feel like I shouldn't be saying that word. You know, there's certain words out there which aren't disrespectful because when you Google it, it's just like, oh, <laughs> I thought that was a little bit more offensive. Poosh is one of those words. Like, poosh just doesn't have a nice ring to it. But hey, um, you know, all went on to have their own businesses as we all know now. But there was a time where it was about getting rid of the label reality star and having something of your own that was pretty much it because a lot of the time people were just kind of like oh they're just famous for being reality stars and that was kind of an insult for me personally girl if i'm famous for being a reality star i'm going to own that i'm obviously going to expand and do other things and take advantage of the moment because girl it might be gone tomorrow yeah i mean i don't think there's anything wrong with being a reality star but i get the the stereotype that was around it people who are reality stars are people who just hadn't well typically associate to people who have no talent kylie went out to explore beauty she wanted to, you know, try something different. She wanted to go down the realm of what her sisters were doing, but her sisters were mainly doing like fashion while she was like, you know what? Let me do lips. Let me just do beauty. Let me do lip kits. And so she did. She came out with liquid lipsticks and liners 
do you guys remember this that was a crazy time imagine asking my mom like hey can i have kylie jenner's lip she would smack me <laughs> like actually smack me like it's the audacity and cheek for me because girl we just had pocket money to our name like we didn't you know we never had just extra money we could ask our parents it wasn't like that and even if i did have the money girl i don't think i need them lip kits like i don't want a mattifying lip i don't know but either way it works for the time period it was very on brand with her at the time as she had just gotten her lips done and would constantly lie about it and say she was just using the mac lip liner she was definitely living in delulu land and i think a lot of people fell for it if you have common sense then yeah if you were a kid fair enough i'll give you that we definitely did see between the lines uh she was going on about how she used i think this mac lip liner in the shade cork or spice it was one of them to the point where fans literally queued outside for the specific lip shade sold it out online everybody was trying to get the kylie lips not knowing that she don't even have the kylie lips apart from when dr uma <laughs> dr god knows what his name is or her we don't discriminate around here we love them all touched up their lip do you know what i mean so people trying to get the kylie lip she didn't have the kylie lip and they sold out a pencil that yes yeah, she was probably using but didn't give her the kylie lips you know um and then she saw the attraction sorry <clears throat> excuse my french then chris jenner aka her mother and mama just saw the attraction that uh kylie's name was having in relation to lip filler in relation to you know lip pencil and everything and they came out with kylie cosmetics which i think was a really smart move and i think that's capital capitalizing that sounds very awful when i said it capitalizing off of a really really good moment and that i will give her her own cosmetic brand which she came out with in november of 2015 sold out within seconds like less than a minute so i remember she put it on the website and everyone was like queuing imagine queuing on a website known as thousands of people in front of you and thousands of people behind you like that ish sold out real quickly there was different shades if i'm being honest with you i don't think there was really shades for darker complexions of course if you're a dark skin girl and you want to wear a pink lip by all means necessary do it but i feel as though I needed a brown, you know what I mean? I needed a brown lip liner. I don't know, I just feel like it wasn't really for the Darkishas. But that's just my humble opinion though. It retailed for $29, but it's like, babe, why can't it be $30? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand these unnecessary, like, you know when someone says like $26, why can't it be $25? Like, what are we doing here? It did extremely well. Uh, she came out with even more shades. She expanded the line. She had a bunch of celebrities, you know, at, well, I mean, influences with kylie's personal struggle with her lips she eventually addressed it and it created a relatable narrative for her viewers which made even more people fall in love with her i definitely do think that whole relatable even though we can't relate because she is worth millions at this point she is a teenager who's super duper successful her lifestyle is completely different from ours but i think a lot of people took a lot of liking to her because we felt like oh my gosh she was the first kardashian sorry first car jenna to talk about what they've gotten done and it's not so much a taboo even though it's like she probably got more done at the time and she probably just like half asked the statement but i mean yeah i mean you know it raises the question of should celebrities have to come out and say what they've gotten done i think at the time it was very much stum do not reveal anything let it be a mystery for the public but now i think celebrities are more open with saying yeah i did this yeah i did that yes i'm on this i'm on a zen pick i'm on that i'm on this and i'm you know um which i love to see it i mean sometimes i feel like i'm, I'm too in on people's business but like sometimes i'm just like girl you look different Different. i want to know what's tea i'm a nosy ass bitch and i own it maybe it's just a gemini in me nah scorpios are like that too aries cancer basically the whole world <laughs> we just admit it kylie jenner knew the impact she had not only on social media but in the real world too she strategically invested 40 million dollars to an array of properties it is also rumored that kylie jenner is struggling to sell one of her mansions up in beverly hills she's had this struggle since 2022 while her multiple homes in southern california make up a portfolio worth a combined 80 million dollars celebrity sleuths on tiktok have claimed she's living well beyond her means now i definitely do agree with that she's got plenty of houses the fact that she's struggling to sell i don't know some of these business moves mm, i don't know like it just isn't she's not beating the she's not basically beating the allegations that she isn't going broke -y -y. again broke for her is different from ever in this lifetime but you guys get what i mean one thing that i think is really smart that i think a lot of celebrities or just people who's making a certain amount of income should do is definitely invest um i think it's something that is now spoken a lot more about but there was a time where it's like we didn't know how to even invest we didn't know where to start and it still is a hard process i feel like i think people downplay how intense it truly is a lot of people are just not smart a lot of people just see a certain amount in their account and they're like you know what, i'm gonna buy private jets and stuff like that but that for me i just feel like it's a show it off mentality now i'm not gonna lie to you would i take a picture of a private jet bitch i want to be cute i want the world to know hey bitch i got money I feel like with them it's done so 
rapidly. I get it, they don't want to go to like a normal regular airport and go on the, <laughs> you know, the planes and they want to show their luxury, but that's expensive. And that's coming out of their accounts and doing that constantly is a huge sum. You know, making sure that a private jet, for example, is in the best shape because I mean, you're flying. It's your life at risk if things aren't, like if you have a faulty plane, literally. literally. So um, these are all huge expenses, taxes. Can we talk about it? Can we talk about the taxes, please? My thing is, if I'm making a certain amount of money and I still feel like they're taxing me a ridiculous amount, by the way, imagine the car Jenners, imagine what celebrities are going through. Like, of course they've got the money to pay the taxes, but it's still a lot. And that's something that I feel like isn't really spoken about enough. Girl, I'm like, the taxes must be mad. Private jets constantly. There's certain celebrities I can think of who, if they ever went broke, I would be like genuinely shocked, like truly shocked. Now, do I think these ladies, the Kardashians are gonna be broke and have zero dollars to their name? Absolutely not. I do think that their name doesn't hold as much weight now, but you know, it's, they're still a very big family in America. They're still respected by certain people. Um, and they, they, they've all got businesses of their own going. I just don't know in terms of longevity whether we're going to feel it as much anymore because I just don't care for any of their products. I do like Skims. Funnily enough, actually, my older brother was telling me, um, cause we were talking about like Calvin Klein and how like, obviously it's still around, but people don't hype about it too much anymore. Obviously again, people are still wearing it. And um, he was saying that he actually likes Skims. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I was shickety shockety shick. I was like, say what? skims really because i have skims underwear i have the skims um t-shirt which i know that's really raved about and rightfully so it's amazing um and it's available in different sizes and stuff so yeah she really did her big one with that but when my brother told me that he uses skims and has the underwear as well i was like oh wow and he was like um because like a lot like he, it's basically because of the mba influence i know they have like some sort of partnership going on um so that's just really interesting because i never thought in a million years he would purchase from skims but so he did so it just goes to show that that company is definitely going to be around for a very long time and again another good example of somebody who knew exactly what she was doing she knew the formula and i'm sorry but a tight fitted top a latex spandex type material is always going to be around and it's so figure hugging and just it looks beautiful on the body i can't even lie to you the underwear fit good body set good um i do think it's amazing material i think kim Kardashian did her big one with that but i think that's the only thing that people are really buying. Who's buying Poosh? Like, hold on a second. These are vitamins I got from Amazon. This, that, it doesn't have Poosh written all over it. Hold on, there's probably more, hold on. Where my Poosh at? I don't have Poosh. And I just can't take it serious. Like I wouldn't be able to take a Kardashian product serious, especially in terms of health. Kylie Jenner did come out with Kylie Swim, which was a major flop. Let's just call it what it is. Just didn't land well. There was a lot of complaints about how trashy the material was. Upon further review, many customers are expressing their disappointment over the swimsuit's alleged poor quality, thin material and lack of integrity. One swimwear designer named Jessica Anderson shared her review to TikTok and Reddit. And before even having tried the one piece on, she pointed out that the material is so thin, you can actually see the Kylie swim tag from the outside of the suit. Jessica also pointed out how narrow the front bottom coverage is compared to other swim bottoms, telling viewers, I just personally don't know anyone's body that this would work for. Jessica then debuted the bathing suit while wearing a bodysuit, which one Reddit user pointed out was very telling that she had to wear something under the suit to model it. Jessica's final verdict was in, and while questioning how she would ever wear this confidently in public, knowing her entire body is on display, she also admitted to being very disappointed in the fact that the suit had no no liner was completely see-through and that nobody seemed to catch this major manufacturing flaw it just felt very rushed it felt like okay my businesses are doing well let me come out with a run like who wants to see swimwear from kylie like, i can get it she'll be in the beach with her bikini or whatever but i don't think that she was even wearing her own products you know i just i don't think it looked like it was good quality. I think it was obvious that it was gonna be some sort of a flop. Models were wearing the tiniest of bikinis. I remember that in the like ad. And I just feel like, what is this trend of people wearing bikinis smaller than their actual cup size? Oh my God, I sound like a Debbie Downer. I don't wanna be that person, but like, I'm just gonna have to be that person for about 10 seconds. I just don't understand it. Wear bikinis your size. Like I get it, the look, but then I don't. I don't think anybody asked for a swimwear line from you. Um, I don't think even divers or swimmers have come out with 
swimwear let's go ahead and talk <laughs> about kylie baby uh, so she had given birth to Stormy and Edward was obsessed with Stormy which is kind of weird to be obsessed with a baby that you know nothing about but of course Stormy's a cute baby you know their pictures they'll take together oh my god so adorable I love that for them right so inspired by baby Stormy's love of bath time then came Kylie Baby which launched in 2021 now with this particular launch I just I j look with the Kylie swim like I saw people like talking about it and stuff like at least there was some sort of conversation around it now it wasn't really a positive one but there was still some sort of buzz with Kylie baby I heard nothing about it I think I understand why for me it wasn't a smart move babies are like the most precious things on the planet right after me <coughs> like right after me then come babies <laughs> ain't no way I'm buying Kylie baby firstly it doesn't even roll off the tongue properly like Kylie baby just sounds like what Kylie baby Kylie baby I'm gonna go and buy Kylie baby it just doesn't sound right it sounds like I'm gonna buy stormy I don't like the sound of that number one number two I'd rather stick to the baby friendly popular products that have been tested and used since the 80s or even before that okay I'd rather bet my money on that and place an order on that because also it's gonna be more affordable I think the packaging looks cute and I think it's very baby friendly oh my god my belly's growling Ugh, I sound like a flipping bear anyways I'd rather stick to baby Johnson's no in this day and age there's probably something wrong with baby johnson's i don't know i'd rather stick to something that's been tested and midwives have confirmed a good product or doctors have confirmed a good product have you guys seen that ad on tiktok right where kylie's literally advertising a game i thought it was ai I thought it was one of them kylie jenna lookalikes who have the same eyebrows as her and loves to talk in the same tone i genuinely thought it was ai but then it's like oh this is dead ass kylie and i keep seeing the ad when i go on tiktok <sighs> I'm like, how much are they paying to do this? King Kylie would never. <laughs> like, what? What's going? What? what are you doing here? When I saw that ad, I was like, huh? Wait a minute. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I feel like their brands make zero sense. Like, there's just, just like, I get it. You have a baby, so that's why you came out with Kylie baby. But it just feels forced, and I feel like it's not everything you must jump to. Because then when it comes to flop, it's like, are we going to pretend that moment didn't happen? Baby, it, it happened. Kylie swim happened. No matter how you try to flip it, bop it, twerk it, turn it, spin it, it happened. The only thing that makes sense for Kylie was a cosmetic line. I don't even get Kendall Jenner coming out with tequila, 818 tequila. Like, I just, I, I don't understand it. Like, I get Chloe though. Chloe has a good American, was the jeans, like the really, the, the, the whole denim thing, which I, I see Chloe wearing a lot of jeans. It looks like it is good American. I'm sorry, I can't get over that whole TikTok ad of like her advertising that game. I'm just like, girl, what are you doing here? <laughs> like, how much do they pay you? What is your charging rate? Has it gone down? I'm nosy in that sense. Okay, so it's important to remember that Kylie Jenner has like one of the most followed accounts on Instagram. Um, so it says her brands pay for a post by Kylie Jenner around $1.2 million, according to Hopper HQ. The price doesn't factor in how much she charges for an Instagram ad, which converts better through the swipe up feature, considering the fact that the post stays up forever. Influencer marketing offerings usually include the time a post stays active on the influencer's profile, which ultimately influences the price and performance. Now, I wanted to go ahead and mention this because she has been doing quite a lot of promotions and ads for like random companies and brands that I've never heard of but of course when she promotes something the chances are if you do follow her you'll probably check it out not gonna lie though when people promote stuff i just don't check it out unless it's something that i really need but maybe it's because i'm not a gamer and i don't have games on my phone that's why i probably wouldn't have you know taken a like into swiping up but um you know there's going to be millions of people or thousands of people who did is it just me found it very weird when i saw that ad game thing like i'm sure you guys were shocked too like i don't know i just felt like oh, a billionaire a billionaire doing this where they do that at <laughs> i feel like things aren't selling anymore um the public's interest just isn't there anymore specifically for the kardashians like people just don't care as much there's always rumor for kim to be dating someone every six months we do not care anymore we used to be intrigued like okay girl what's the tea now it's just like okay bitch here we go again hope it lasts probably isn't though like it, that's what that's what we've become that that's who we've become i mean some people have already been that but that's what we've become now even us messy bitches want to girl we don't care anymore okay girl all right i'm going to reiterate this a million times in this video they're literally not going broke they are not broke they're not brokeity okity but i'm just saying for them to be doing x amount of things and kylie coming out with let me google this real quickly whilst i'm here 
because I was shocked when I found out. I was like, where is the advertisement? I don't follow her, so maybe that's why I missed it. But like still on Twitter, I would have seen it, right? She's promoting her new 100 calorie canned vodka soda line Sprinter. I just put nine gallon in the Sprinter. SOS, somebody rescue me. I got too many. Anyways, sorry, when I, when I see the word Sprinter, I just have to sing it. Okay, now imagine it was me advertising this product. My jawline would not look that snatched. I wouldn't look that good. Like my goodness, does she look amazing? Almost about to back a whole can of vodka what is it is it fruit fruit fru fruity vodka you know what i mean like oh my goodness like i'm not gonna lie kylie jenner is a stunning babe like before after in between like i don't know what stage of kylie we're talking like i feel like kylie is just that bitch period like yeah she looks unflattering in some pictures and yeah she looks like she could be 50 but when she bounces back to being what 26 27 years old i'm like oh girl oh it gives um but yeah i would not be purchasing this just i'm not really like an alcohol drinker um if you're new around here we just say alcohol i don't know why we could easily say alcohol i'm not gonna get demonetized for it right but that jawline is crazy i mean between her and her boyfriend timothy charlamay i don't know whose jawline goes harder like oh my um so kylie jenner got glammed on thursday as she took to the streets in los angeles to promote her new can vodka soda brand sprinter i love how i love how happy she is in this photo this is actually adorable how happy she is but who asked for canned vodka, A, but from Kylie Jenner. She probably saw how much money Kendall was making and was like, girl, I need that too. <laughs> I'm gonna need that too. It's available in four flavors, black cherry. Oh, that sounds nice. Peach, grapefruit, and lime. The alcoholic sodas are scheduled to hit the stores on March 21st. Sprinter will be sold in an eight can variety pack for $19.99. Sprinter is my answer to the growing consumer demand for quality canned cocktails, Kylie said. But who asked for that? I'm gonna come very close to my microphone. Who on this planet asked for that from you? Kylie went to speak about how she wanted her new line of products to appeal to younger consumers. Not only does Sprinter have a unique bold branding that captures the feeling of fun with your friends, it is also the best tasting vodka soda I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot, she said. Of course you would say that. That's like one-on-one -on -one media training. Like, of course you're gonna like diss everything else just to like uplift yours. Like that, that's what you do when you're selling a product. So nothing new, nothing exciting. We've held numerous tastings over the past year to ensure each of our four flavors are as natural and true to fit, sorry, true to fruit as possible, she said. And also I believe that she's coming out with a fragrance. <sighs> um, Kylie coming out with fragrance in the year 3000, no, in 2024. Okay. <sighs> we will see how that goes okay girl anyways let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section what do you guys think and yes i'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video bye <laughs>